Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you a 76 and 2 dual swarm, dual dogs, dual V satellite gameplay. I basically raped the other team, for the lack of a better word to describe what I actually committed in this game. I'm using the ACOG FAL single fire. Bear in mind, it's single fire, meaning I have a good trigger finger. I don't need any sort of select fire nonsense here. So it's a pretty good game. I do like ACOG because it's super accurate and then there's really cool ridicles that you can unlock for it. I particularly was going for ridicles uh, this gameplay so of course I'm using the ACOG. That's the only way to unlock them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay but let's move on to the actual topic here which is Call of Duty Ghost which was revealed today in a trailer and if you actually sat through the entire Xbox One presentation you actually saw some behind the scenes and as well as some as well as hearing some multiplayer details and I'm here to share that with you unless of course you already know it because you sat through the entire one hour presentation so among it being a new game with a new storyline and having a award-winning director actually directing the game or actually having directed the game I'm assuming it's already along the lines of being finished since they have the trailer reveal already Call of Duty Ghost is a game where basically from what I heard of their description of the story I can't describe it any other way since I don't know what the hell's going on besides what they told me is it's a game basically you're a soldier in the American uh, armed forces and something happened a devastating event that has crippled your forces all of America's forces and it's up to you as well as every other single uh, American soldier that happens to not be dead, I assume, to go ahead and fight these opposing forces. They didn't describe who these opposing forces were. My bet's on China. I don't know, though. They didn't really describe it. Or it could be Russians, you know. Call of Duty loves Russians, particularly Infinity War. So it might be Russians. I don't know who the antagonists are going to be, but certainly the protagonists are American. This one soldier, if you will, I'm not sure if it's going to have different storylines such as most Modern Warfare has had, where you play Roach and then you play Soap and or, and or some other guy, you know? Uh, so, so far it looks like you're playing this one guy, and basically Ghost is this, uh, is just group of any soldier that remains in the armed forces. The American armed forces um, and you're just basically fighting the antagonists and I mean you can all be special special forces you know all of you guys are just kind of uh, you guys lost your paths more or less you could be a ranger or Navy SEAL or whatever basically all the special forces coming together and just having kick-ass skills and trying to fight the antagonists. the graphics look obviously amazing on a more technical level, apparently they developed a way to actually make the graphics be smooth and relatively fast, which is by subdividing the closer you get. So, when you actually bring your gun up to your viewport, or actually uh, up so you can aim, your, the subdivision level will increase, making the gun look a lot smoother. And as well as with the character and everything, really. So, if you see a player from very far away, the subdivision is probably very low and it's optimized clearly the closer you get the subdivision increases so whenever you're close to an actual player they look like an actually really good looking player model which is impressive and among a lot of other stuff that they created because it's a new engine for this game particularly the multiplayer looks really cool uh... they're gonna be using I can't recall what it's called, but it's going to be dynamic. It's what it, it's what it's going to be. It's going to be like Black Ops, where it had dynamic things that you could actually affect that would uh, consequently affect other players. Uh, from what I saw there, you can shoot uh, a trailer carrying a bunch of tree trunks in the back. Uh, the wire rips and all the tree trunks co collapse and it just stacks and starts rolling down the road killing anyone there I assume as well as blocking the path for future people to continue going through there which is fairly interesting as you can block paths now to kind of uh, circumvent anything from happy well you can basically change out the map layout 
which is very unique to what Black Ops did with the bridges and that one map I can't recall where if you shot the bridges or and or melted them, which was faster, uh, you wouldn't there would no longer be a bridge. You would have to jump over. So it's not exactly new. It's new to Infinity Ward, of course, but it's it looks like they're really doing a great job with it. According to them, they're also going to have earthquakes and floods. Which is very, really cool. So, I assume the flood is going to work a lot like Hydro, which obviously us on Wii U probably don't know the map because we don't actually have it, but Hydro is a map where it floods at a certain point in the game. Uh, and it only floods at a certain particular point. And so, this is interesting. Now you're going to have floods. I'm assuming the floods stay there, they remain. I mean, how are they not going to not remain, right? At uh, some point, they got to get blocked off, right? And if, if they don't, okay, I guess that makes sense. There must be a way they escaped. But yeah, I would think it would be really cool if you could actually have the map be flooded. And then, you know, now you have to play tactically while moving slow through this water that's obviously everywhere around the map. Throw a shock charge. Yeah, <laughs> you get the point. It'd be pretty cool. I want, I'd like to see that. And then you got Earthquakes, which uh, is pretty cool. If you play Team Fortress 2, uh, there's these, for at least on modded servers, you can roll, uh, which is basically like rolling dice, and you get a special attribute to your player. I often get an Earthquake attribute, which basically, whenever I'm hitting, touching the ground, I cause an Earthquake to the surrounding map. So I'm assuming this is going to be a lot like the Earthquakes in Modern Warfare. Ghost is going to be a lot like you know, earthquakes over here, where it basically rumbles the ground. Whether things collapse or not, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, as well as a bunch of stuff I think is now collapsible, similar to Battlefield games where you can now collapse things. So it's got uh, some sort of destruction engine from the looks of it. Uh, whether it's set up and you can destroy anything, or it's only set up so you can destroy some particular things, it sounds more and more to me, it's like basically the Black Ops thing it had going on where you can destroy some things it's just a little more enhanced for graphics and optimization and it's just better because it's a new engine otherwise though it doesn't really look like any new technology and of course the game is gonna be best on xbox one because of the fact that xbox ha or microsoft has a contract with Call of Duty. So if you want to get DLC first, you're going to find it first on Xbox One. And most likely you won't get DLC on the next gen consoles like the PS4 or PC or possibly the Wii U until a month later. So with that said, the best way to play Call of Duty is, of course, on Xbox One. And if you want to be like certain YouTubers who make most of their views just from posting uh, DLC content the day it's released or the, mi or the midnight release, go ahead and do that and you'll sure to be rocketing up in subs very quickly. But besides destruction and dynamic stuff that pretty much Treyarch already had, I guess just enhanced and better graphics and a, a dog, a canine companion and your single player. Uh, there's really not much to be revealed. There was not really much revealed in the actual trailer itself, as well as the actual, uh, basically, little discussion between the developers before the actual trailer was revealed. So, there's a bunch of new stuff. Most of it isn't really that new, but it's still slightly impressive since it looks like it's gonna be super cool because the way they hyped it up, and then it looks the trailer itself was really dramatic, which makes me wonder what kind of direction they're gonna go in. I mean, you've seen them kill off freaking Soap and Ghost and all these awesome people like Gas. Who are they gonna kill next? Find out next time on Call of Duty Ghosts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to find out more, go ahead and sit through the hour presentation. I probably missed some minor details, as well as go check out the trailer itself. You guys can take uh, get your own take on it and share it with me back in the comments section. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about the actual game itself, whether you saw the presentation already or not. Feel free to share with uh, information with me on anything I missed. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys for watching. Mission complete. Solid performance.